This is a uh, video on how to make really good gaskets. And I've made a lot of gaskets and, and everybody has started out making engines and so forth. And you get to the end and you, you need a cylinder head gasket. So what I did at first was lay the cylinder head gasket. I was sewing the head down on the gasket material and draw a circle around it and try to mark the holes. And I came out with a, a usable gasket, but it wasn't very pretty. So I started thinking about making a punch. And I went through a few punches, and then the more I did, the more I realized that how you make the punch is extremely important. And uh, I came up with this system. Now, it has a center pin, which can be any size. It's a dowel pin. It has to fit very precisely. So it's a ream hole. And then the top punch goes on there. And there's a match mark. So the way I start out with this is I make the bottom die first and you, you do your outside diameter, your inside diameter and I usually go about a hundred thousand steep on the center but on the top punch I make that top punch protrude exactly two gasket thicknesses. That way I can put it on here and punch both at once without distorting the gasket material and I'll run you through that. First thing I do is I put the gasket material on a block and punch a hole into it that's 5 sixteenths. Then the dowel pin in here, put it through the hole to center it, line my two punch marks up somewhat, that's not really important here. And I have a piece of pipe that fits over that pin so I don't have to hit the pin. This is pretty precise, so you have to sort of pull it apart here. There's the gasket. Now, put that in the bottom gas, the bottom punch. And I put this back on here with the dowel pin. And I line up my punch marks. Now, of course, it's pretty hard to line them up exactly, so you sort of have to search for the first hole. Okay, now I'm going to mark the number one hole with a magic marker. So I always know which side is up and what is the number one hole. Okay, so now I would take the bottom die and, and I would lay out the holes on it so it looks like this and drill all the holes. And then I put the top gas, the top of the punch on there, and I turn it over, and I transfer the holes down through to drill path. So now this becomes the drill jig for the cylinder head. And then the cylinder head becomes the drill jig for the cylinder. And if you put the gasket on, no matter what happens, if you've got match marked number one hole, and of course you want to match mark the cylinder the same way, so you know where one number one hole always is. It all goes together perfectly, even if the, the holes aren't perfectly, the, the whole pattern isn't perfect. Another thing that I discovered, the first uh, dies I made, I hardened them. It's not necessary. This is 12L14, and you can punch uh, 50 or 100 gaskets with it, just a piece of soft 12L14, and it will punch out fine, so you don't have to worry about hardening the punches. I just chuck up a piece of steel that's big enough, use anything that I have around, hot roll, cold roll, whatever. And the first process is to face it off.
If a little more, I'll do it. Now I'm going to start off with a center drill. So I get pretty near the exact center. Now I'm going to decide how deep I want this uh, bottom punch. This is going to be the bottom punch. And it doesn't have to be very deep at all. So we're going to go for probably a half an inch. Now I'm going to use a 5 16 dowel pin in this one to uh, center the punch. So when I get out to nearly 5 16 I'm going to bore it and then ream it to 5 16 Because you want a very, very good center there. So now I'm going to bore it, which will put it exactly on center. Another five out of that. And we should be able to ream it. So that's a thousandth over now. That dowel pin should fit right in there. Perfect fit. No. No looseness at all, it's nice and tight. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bore this inside dimension here. And what I'm gonna do is bore it at least four or five gasket thicknesses deep because this one I wanna end up two ga gasket thicknesses deep and this one has to be a little deeper. So uh, we'll do that one first. Get a measurement on it. That's exactly one inch. Where did I put that tool over right here? So we're going to go about a hundred and fifty thousand steep on that. One fifty. Set up a stop. Within three, we just get it exactly just for that. So now we're going to do the second part, of, which is this shoulder here. And what I usually do is just go two gasket thicknesses. And the reason is, when you punch this, you don't want to distort it way down in there. So keep this as close as you can to like two gasket thicknesses, which I'm using 15,000. So I'm only going to go 30,000 deep on this.
I'm not going to part this all the way off. I just like to get a good mark there so I can see if the saw is going way off and it's cutting. I'm going to go in about maybe 3 sixteenths of an inch. I hope this was an informative video and I hope you learned something from it. If you like my channel and you like uh, you learned something, please uh, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much for watching.